You give yourself a much larger area to push against all the air at the outlet. Behind you, now you can look. Oh my! Alright, so this is, we're about two football fields away from the horn. We have no idea how loud this is going to sound here. Alright, Ken, fire the normal air horn. Yeah, we could hear it. Now we're a little nervous because you could hear it decently well. All right, firing. <laughs> so for our second test, we drove about a mile away. And you can barely see the horn right here. All right, Ken, fire. No! We can still completely hear it. Yes. That's crazy. I mean, you can hardly see that massive horn, but it's still super loud. So let's just... Drive. Just keep going. All right, We're gonna go. go real far. So from a satellite view, this is where the horn was. Here was the first spot, and then the second spot. And then here was the third spot, two and a half miles away. Okay, so the horn is now super far away. I literally can't see it with my naked eye. It's so far away. Like, I can barely see it. It's right at the crest of the hill. There's a little tiny speck, and it's right there. We're gonna do an experiment, and we're gonna test the speed of sound. We should hear it on this walkie-talkie, and then some amount of time later, we might be able to hear it from this distance. Lincoln's gonna measure the time on his stopwatch, and then we should be able to calculate from there what the speed of sound is. We're ready when you are. Okay, I'm ready. Wait for it. How long? It took 11 seconds for the sound of the horn to get here. But we can still hear it so clearly. It's so clear. Like, I feel like we can go 10 miles further. Think about what this means. It took an unbroken chain of two and a half miles of air molecules, 11 seconds to all collide with each other until they made it all the way down here and bumped into the air molecules in our ear canals, which then bumped into our eardrums. 